good afternoon children so in the morning session we discussed about normal distribution and standard normal distribution normal distribution and standard normal distribution okay so in normal distribution what are the things we discussed go through it okay so normal distribution means it takes the form f of x is equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi e raised to minus half into x minus mu the whole square by sigma the okay x minus mu by sigma the whole square where mu is called the mean and sigma is the standard deviation this normal distribution is otherwise called gaussian distribution okay so normal distribution there is only one peak that means we call it as mode that is only one peak so unique mode only one mode will be there okay and we learned in a bell shaped curve mean median mode or everything will be same all these properties we discussed the area area under the bell shaped curve will give the probability and total area will be one and the bell shaped curve is symmetrical about the line x is equal to mu it is symmetrical about the line x is equal to mu in a normal distribution the total area will be always equivalent to one okay and then we'll discuss about standard normal distribution how to convert standard normal distribution to standard normal distribution for that what discussed sigma mu is zero and standard deviation is one if mean is zero and standard deviation is one it will become a normal distribution okay and now look at this question this is the example i want to discuss listen all of you children no need to write first listen the same question today you take it as homework and do it okay there is a chance for asking this question in case study look at here calculate the z score z score what we what you have learned about z score z score is z is given by substitution isn't it the substitution we do it that is what we call it as z score z is equal to x minus mu by sigma that is the z score so calculate the z score for a normal distribution of length of seven rare species of indian butterfly that you have in your garden okay so we take seven rare species we measure the length and this is the table given so this is an ordinary table given okay we take seven cases and the length is given okay so first thing is we want to find the median sorry first we are finding mean how to find mean mean is given by here it is not the probability distribution we want to calculate this probability distribution for that what do you do first we find mean mean is equal to here sum of all observations by number of observation so this is xi okay sigma xi i n you divide it by 7 total 7 data are there when you add it we get mu as 7 and variance last year we have learned what is variance last year we have learned this as variance is equal to sigma xi minus x bar the whole square by n is or no xi minus mu the whole square by n from here what is standard deviation xi minus mu the whole square by n and you have to take the root square root of sigma xi minus mu the whole square by n so we find out 2 minus 3 the whole square again 2 minus 3 the whole square next is 3 minus 3 each xi you subtract it from the mean 2 minus 3 the whole square plus 5 minus 3 the whole square plus 1 minus 3 the whole square plus 6 minus 3 the whole square by 7 on simplifying we get sigma as 1.69 now we out yes up to this is it okay see what you are writing you can't see no ma'am one second okay now look check this one is it okay mean is it clear now is it okay yes ma'am Ah, so mean we calculate it using the formula sigma xi by n sum of all observations by n. We add all this data, divide it by seven. Okay. And last year we have learned about variance. What is the formula we have learned for variance? Sigma 
xi minus x bar the whole square by n. Sigma xi minus x bar the whole square by n. What is x bar? This mu. So using this, we calculate sigma. Now is it okay? Hmm? Hmm? After calculating this, this data we are going to finding the we are, this data we are going to convert it into normal distribution. For that, we have to find the z score. What is z score? Okay, here it is. You can see z score. X minus mu by sigma is called z score. X means the data. What is data here? This is x. 2 minus 3 by 1.69. Similarly, you find it for the next data. 2 minus 3 by 1.69. 3 minus 3. 2 minus 3. 5 minus 3. And we calculate the value. So this gives the z score. Okay. Up to this, is it okay? Hmm? Okay. Children, after this class, I'll take a photocopy of this. I'll take a photo and I'll send it. Do this question once again in your notebook. Okay, now listen to it. Okay, up to this, is it clear? Is it okay, Tomlin? Hmm? How to convert this into normal distribution? X is given. We convert that into normal by using the Z score X minus mu by sigma. Now, look... <clears throat> Based on this, we are going to draw the graph. Look at the next data. We are drawing a graph. Okay, we draw the graph. So here the line is x is equal to mu. So this is given by x is equal to mu. It will be symmetrical. About the line x is equal to mu, it is symmetrical. Okay, and in the graph, look at the figure. Actually, it is divided into three regions. It is divided into three regions. It is divided into three regions. Okay, so this is the first case. Here, okay, the most of the region is coming within this part. That is up to this part, if you take... It is 99.73. If you take the peak part, 68.27 is there. If you take the next, actually, this part and all, okay, it is just go through it, whether it will be, uh, because we are not learning this much in detail. But in your textbook, it is given. Okay, here it is given up to this part, it is 68.27. Here, 95.75. Along the x-axis, we take mu, mu plus sigma, mu plus 2 sigma, mu plus 3 sigma. Similarly here, we take mu minus sigma, mu minus 2 sigma, and mu minus 3 sigma. We, okay, mu we know that. What is mu we got here? What is the value of mu? Mu is 3. Mu is 3. And sigma is 1.69. Okay, so here we take the, we draw the graph by taking mu plus sigma, mu plus 2 sigma, mu plus 3 sigma. This graph actually it is given for your understanding. Look at here. You will get everything as symmetrical. Okay. So here in the region, mu minus 2 sigma to mu minus 3 sigma, it is symmetrical. Similarly, if you take this part, it is symmetric. Okay. So this is symmetric. Is it okay? Hmm? Now, Okay, so based on this, what is given here? If you take this region, this pink region, that is from, what is the region there? From the inside the region, mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma, here, in this particular case, there are 68.27 probability distribution. The probability is, if you take this pink part, it is 68.27 probability distribution. Okay, it is lying from mu plus sigma to mu minus sigma. Once you convert it, mu will be zero. Is that no? So it is lying from minus one to one. It lies from minus one to one. So that is what it is given there in the region minus one to one, or which is same as okay, in uh, it is same as mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma. Mu is 0, sigma is 1. So the region we can write it as minus 1 to 1. So inside the region minus 1 to 1, 
there are 68.27 percentage probability and we can denote like this also only the notations here it is given children okay now let, let, take the second part if you take the second part that is from the region mu plus 2 sigma to mu minus 2 sigma so that is from minus 2 to 2 that is integral from minus 2 to 2 because mu is 0 mu is 0 and sigma is 1 so mu plus 2 sigma means it will become minus mu 2 and mu minus 2 sigma means it will become minus 2 so integral minus 2 to 2 if you take the next region then what is the probability given here 95.45 this given in the graph okay everything is given in the graph from the graph only we answering we are answering this part so 95.45 comes in that type and if you take the full region 9 minus 3 sigma to 9 plus 3 sigma around 99.73 will be taking a score between minus 3 to plus 3 standard deviation. Okay, just you should understand what is this, okay, what is given in this graph. Only how to calculate and all it is nothing given and that much depth questions are not there. Only the basic definitions and all are, were asked in your textbook. Now look at the next question. Now write that, okay. The next question, we can write it. Write the question. Write the question. This type of question you can expect for the exam. But the previous one, there is a chance. Sometimes because as it, is, as it is a given question, sometimes the graph will be given and you may be asked to write the percentage and all. Okay, write this question. Example 18. Mean of a normal variate is 12. Mean is given as 12. And standard deviation is 4. And standard deviation is 4. Find the said score. Listen, children, look at the question. Listen this. One second, all of you listen. Given the mean of a normal distribution, mean is mu. Mu is given as 12. And standard deviation, standard deviation means sigma is given as 4. Find the Z score. Z score means we have to find Z whose data point, data point means x is given, x is 20. What is the formula? Z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. You substitute it and find out. Similarly, look at the second one. Data point is, find the data point whose z score is 5. Z score is 5 means z is 5. Z is 5, you have to find what is x. Similarly, the next one, z is minus 2, you have to find what is x. You have to find what is x.
okay complete this one children okay one second is it over children completed Okay, is it okay? Completed? Hmm? Is it okay? Finished? Okay, now listen children. Now next we are going to learn how to use the table and calculate the value. Morning we were discussing that one, but we are not able to complete. Now we can discuss that one using the table given here. Okay, look at this question. Example 20. Given the scores, look at this question, write the question. Given that scores of a set of candidates, given that scores of a set of candidates on an IQ test, given that scores of set of candidates on an IQ test, are normally distributed. It is given, it is a normal distribution. The IQ test, okay, given that scores of a set of candidates of an IQ test are normally distributed. If the IQ test has a mean of 100, if it has a mean of 100 and standard deviation 10 and standard deviation as 10, What is the probability that, what is the probability that, what is the probability that a candidate, what is the probability that a candidate who takes the test, a candidate who takes the test will score between, what is the probability that a candidate who takes the test will score between 90, 90 and 110. 90 and 110. What is the probability that a candidate who takes a test will score between 90, 90 and 110? Okay. 
50 if the iq test has a mean of 100 and standard deviation 10 what is the probability listen children so here you copied this question hmm? aditya chomlin yes ma'am femina yes, ma okay yes, now, ma now now listen children here it is the okay it is marks iq test is given and iq test has been has a mean 100 and standard deviation is 10 what is the probability he takes a score here it is asked about score score means we have to convert that into z is that no so we want to find z what is the formula to find z z is x minus mu by sigma here the mark is given as the mark is between 90 and 110 that means x value is 90 and x value is 110 when x value is 90, when x is 90, what is it? It is 90 minus mean. Mu is given as 100 by 10. So it will become negative 10 by 10, which is equivalent to minus 1. Similarly, you take the next case. When it is 110, z is equal to 110 minus 100 by sigma so you'll get 10 by 10 which is equivalent to 1 10 by 10 which is equivalent to 1 so x takes data point from 90 to 110 means z takes value from minus 1 to 1 z takes value from minus 1 to 1 okay hmm? and today morning we discussed one property what is the property we discussed today Hmm. What is the property we discussed? P of A less than Z less than B means it is same as F of B minus F of A. Is that no? Whether we discussed one property like this. Okay, it is same as integral A to B, F of Z dz, cumulative distribution. If the Z value lies between A to B, it is same as final value minus initial value. So here we want to find probability of minus one less than Z less than one, which will be same as F of one minus F of minus one. Is it correct? Is it correct children? Okay. Minus one. Okay. So Okay, so now we want to find f of 1. For finding this f of 1, again we have to use the table. Okay, look at the table. F table, the distribution table is there. In your textbook also you have the table. So we want to find f of 1. For that, we take your table there. From the table. So in your textbook, I think at the end you have here, you want to find f of 1 and f of minus 1. So this is the table given here. It starts from minus 3.6. We want to find f of minus 1. What is f of minus 1? Look at here. Here, okay, in the, on the top you can see the values here. Okay, this is zeros. Okay. So if I want to find minus, suppose I want to find minus 3.65. 3.65 means what you will do? Minus 3.6 here and 5. 0 0.05. This is our required value. Minus, here it is 3.6. This difference you have to add. Minus 3.6 plus 0 0.05. How will you find for minus 2.53? Two, minus 2.53 means here negative 2.5, then 3, 0, 1, 2. So, 0 0.057. Is it okay? Is it clear? Shubham, Chomlin, is it okay? Yes, ma'am. Now tell me what is the value you will get for f of minus 1? f of minus 1. In your textbook, you have f of minus 1. Otherwise, I will share the screen. Tell me. What is f of minus 1? This is f of minus 1.
f of minus one is hmm aparna what is f of minus one from the table can you give the answer from your textbook or from the screen aparna point one five eight seven seven yes ah yes only this value have to consider point one five eight seven okay similarly we want f of one what is f of one f of one again if you take it down if you scroll it down they will give the value what is f of one f of one one so it is what is f of one femina what is f of one is it hmm, femina what is f of one Okay, Aditya Satyan, tell me, Aditya Satyan, what is f of one? Point eight four one three. Point eight four one three. Okay, point eight four one three. So after substitute, finding these values, okay, once again you substitute this. That in the question, okay, we are asked to find the probability. We are asked to find the values there, isn't it? You substitute there. Okay, so p z less than one. Z less than one means it is same as f of one. It will be same as f of one minus f of minus one. Okay. So now, when you substitute this and you subtract it, you will get the answer. Is it okay? Is it clear, children? Hmm? Is it okay? Huh? So, how to use the table? Is it okay? We are going to do few more questions in that form. Hmm? Shall we do few more questions in that form? Okay. One thing you have to check is whether it is given z or x. If it is x, we should convert that into z. If it is x, we have to convert that into z. How will you convert x into z? Z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. Using that, we have to convert that into z score, and you have to use the table. Okay. So look at this question. Okay, I think we can do this question in this right now. So your textual questions today itself, you try. Okay, write the question. I'll take the table from the table itself. We can write. What happens? Can't see it. Okay. 
okay i'll share the table so that you can do it that find the values easily using the table Yes. Write the question. Write the question. Find. Find. Using said table, find. Using said table, find p of z less than one point two zero. P of z less than one point two zero. How will you do this? P of z less than one point two zero means what do you have to find? P of z less than one point two zero. That means. What do you have to find? Is it same as f of one point two? Isn't it? F of one point two. So you use the table. Use the table and calculate it and tell me what is f of one point two. What is the answer? What will be f of one point two? f of 1.2 1.20 that is same as f of 1.2 so what will be the answer 0.8049 using z table calculate z less than 1.20 how to do this point 8469 eight, 8469 is it 8849. Okay, it is less than 1.20 means you can take 0 0.8849. What is write the next one? P of P of Z P of Z less than 1.5. What is P of Z less than 1.5? Mm, what is the answer? 1.5. 1.5 means from the table. From the table, what you can give? 1.5. Children, is it clear? Is it okay? 1.5. Yes, it is 0.9332. This point nine three three two. Okay. Okay, this is a case when P of Z is less than, isn't it? Okay, suppose it is like this greater than, then what you will do? Okay, so this is the case we wrote P of Z less than one point five. 
suppose it is given p of z greater than 1.5 so what you will do p of z greater than 1.5 is same as 1 minus p of z less than 1.5 isn't it p of z less than 1.5 so which is same as 1 minus what is p of 1.5 now we calculated 0.9 3, 3, 2. Subtract it and give the answer. Is it okay? Karthik, Femina. Hmm? If it is greater than means what you have to do? From 1, we have to subtract. From 1, we have to subtract. So what is 1 minus 0 0.9332? 0 0.9332. What is the answer? 1 minus 0 0.9332. 0 0.0668. 0 0.0668. Yes. Is it okay? Is that part clear, children? Is it okay? Aisharya, Aparna, yes, huh? yes. Karthi? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now take your textbook, look at the textbook, in your textbook page number 387. In page number 387, few questions are given in that form. Z value is given. You are asked to, using the Z table, you have to calculate the values. Using the Z table, you have to calculate all those values. Okay. Huh? Now look at there in between, you have one more question. P of 2.5. Okay, those who are not present in the morning for, okay, listen, okay, suppose it is given like this, P of 2.15 less than Z, less than 3.07. So how will you do this? 3.07. So it is same as F of 3.07 minus F of 2.15. Upper limit minus lower limit. Okay, f of 2.15 minus this means it is same as f of 3.07 minus f of 2.15. Now, what is f of 3.07 from the table? From the table, what is f of 3.07? f of 3.07. So, 3.0 is here and 0. 3.07. What will be the value? 3.07. 0 0.9989. Is it correct? Hmm? 0 0.9989. Minus f of 2.15. f of 2.15 means 21. 210, 211, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is 0 0.98, 0 0.9842. Now you subtract these two. 0 0.9989 minus 9842. 9989 minus 9842. You'll get the answer. Okay. Is it okay? Hmm? Is it clear, children? Femina? Aisha, Aparna? Hmm? Suppose, listen, suppose you are asked to find f of negative 1.5. Or, okay, yeah, what is f of negative 1.5? For example, suppose p of z is less than minus 1.5. If it is given yes. like this, negative values are given means what you will do? It is f of minus 1.5. f of 1.5, you can do it in two ways. What are the two ways? From the table, you can write it directly. What is f of 1.5 from the table? Negative 1.5. For negative also, we have the values there. Is that no? Negative 1.5. 0. 0. 1. 0. 
negative one point five. It is look at here minus zero point zero six six eight. Zero point zero six six eight. Okay. Okay. The zero point zero six six eight. The same thing we can do like this. F of negative one point five is one minus f of one point five. How we can do this? One minus f of one point five because both are symmetric. Both are symmetric. So f of negative one point five will be same as one minus f of one point five. One point five already we have calculated. Is that now earlier? Okay. Substitute this value and find out. Okay, hmm? substitute this value and find out f of one point five. Okay, so with this, we complete our portions. One or two more questions we have to discuss. Okay, one or two more questions we have to discuss that we can discuss it in between. Okay, okay, children. Okay, go through this and check whether you are able to use the table. We wind up this session. Thank you.